teased. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're going to be finding out who is the best champion in MDT wrestling. I have all the champions lined up right here. Seth Rollins out of frame. Uh, probably both members of the Revival held out of frame right there. But we do have all of the champions right here. All of the MDT Live champions on the left. And then all of the Vindication champions on the right. And what I have done is uh, just lined them up here. And I want to know your guys' opinions on who the best champion is. We're going to go through each champion. And we're going to talk about their reign, what they've done, how long they've been champion, yada, yada, yada. And you guys are going to figure it out for yourselves or tell me which champion you like the most and which one's the most prestigious. I want to know what the best championship and who the best champion is in MDT. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. First up, we do have the main champion right here, guys, of MDT Live, the MDT champion, John Cena. He did capture the MDT championship from Edge at Money in the Bank. His reign comes in at a whopping 133 days. I don't think that's longer than Edge's reign. I cannot remember exactly what Edge's reign was. I'll have to go back and look. Maybe I can pop it up on the screen for you guys. But uh, he did have a long championship reign, and he is in the middle of his right now. He will have a title match at Sold Out. We do not know yet who he is facing. It will either be Jeff Hardy or Dolph Ziggler, depending on who wins that match on MDT Live episode number 9. But John Cena has won two title matches. He defeated Edge in both of them. Of course, he won his Money uh, his money in the Bank match with Edge, in which he won the championship. And then the next week on MDT Live, he defended it again in a uh, hardcore or extreme rules match to retain the MDT championship. So he is undefeated in MDT. DT. He is 2-0 in his championship matches, and his reign is at a whopping 133 days, and uh, he's done well as champion so far. Good representation. If we go over to Kenny Omega, Kenny Omega, the champion of vindication right here, guys, the elite champion, he has been champion since MDT Blackout, and this is a whopping 305-day reign. Kenny Omega has been champion. He defeated Finn Balor and killed him, buried him in the coffin, and uh, that was at Blackout last Halloween. October 31st, 2017 is when he last uh, won his championship. And then, of course, he did defend it against Cesaro at Money in the Bank. He won both of those matchups, obviously. And, uh, yeah, he's looking to defend it against Braun Strowman in a street fight at Sold Out. So will he retain his elite championship? We will have to see it sold out. But Kenny Omega's done a fantastic job, you know, uh, just killing it. He's also the general manager of Vindication. So, I mean, what can you say? Kenny Omega and John Cena, I think, are doing a great job right now as the top champions of Vindication and MDT Live. Next up, we do have the United States champion, Shelton Benjamin of MDT Live. And he's actually a two-time champion. This is his second United States Championship. He did start off as champion at the inaugural draft. He then went on to lose it to Dean Ambrose after Dean Ambrose won the United States Championship number one contender battle royal. And then he uh, lost the championship due to the Shield interference. Then he would get his rematch at Money in the Bank where he would recapture the United States Championship from Dean Ambrose. Benjamin's reign comes in at 133 days as well. Same length as John Cena, but he's been a solid champion. You know, he has, uh, he's a two-time, I think he's one of the only two-time champions. There's only like two or three two-time champions in the history of MDT, but Shelton Benjamin is a great champion that I hold high in MDT. Next up, we have the Iron Man champion, Drew McIntyre. He is actually set for a triple threat match with Cody Rhodes and Rusev at sold out for the Iron Man Championship. I do not know the stipulation quite yet, but I have rumors going around that it could be a ladder match, a triple threat ladder match between Drew McIntyre, Cody Rhodes, and Rusev. Of course, Rusev winning that number one contendership on the last episode of Vindication. You guys need to go watch Vindication if you haven't watched it quite yet. Episode number nine. And Cody Rhodes was the number one contender, but he was out with injury. We thought he showed up, attacked Drew McIntyre, and now we have a triple threat match going into sold out. And Drew McIntyre's reign is 203 days. He did capture the Iron Man Championship from Braun Strowman due to Kane's interference. Kane came out and helped him defeat Braun Strowman. Therefore, Drew McIntyre captured the Iron Man Championship on Vindication, episode number five. So that is Drew McIntyre. Up next, we have sort of an opportunist right here, guys. Bobby Lashley, he is the extreme champion. You know, this is like the hardcore championship. It is on the line 24-7. So if Bobby Lashley gets pinned, he automatically loses his hardcore or extreme championship. 
His reign comes in at 133 days as well. During the Money in the Bank match, came out during the MDT Live Money in the Bank match, pinned RVD after he did a high spot. He was out cold. Bobby Lashley hopped the barricade from the crowd, pinned him with a referee, one, two, three, and pretty much just stole the Extreme Championship from underneath RVD's nose. And that is Bobby Lashley, and he has not defended it, I don't think, yet. But his reign comes in in 133 days. So Bobby Lashley's right there. He has not really done anything with that just yet. Next up, we do have the Revolutionary Champion. And that is the Miz right here, guys. One of my favorite championships. It just looks so sick with that fist on there. It just looks so cool. But uh, his, his reign comes in at 305 days like Kenny Omega. He uh, did win the championship at Blackout. He, defended, he defeated Sami Zayn, which was the first ever Revolutionary Champion. So uh, The Miz has had a nice, quite, uh, quite a lengthy reign. And to be honest with you, he has defended the championship more than anybody else. Like every single episode of Vindication, you know, he had the Bullet Club Initiation Tour where he's just whooping kids. He's defeated so many different superstars throughout the episodes. So you can't say The Miz isn't a fighting champion. You know, he comes out there gets dubs, and uh, he's trying to get in a Bullet Club right now, so he's been winning a lot of matches and putting on a great show, and defending the title almost every single week, so hats off to The Miz with a 305-day reign and killing it as the Revolutionary Champion. Next up, we have our Tag Team Championships, and right here, we have The Shield. We have the MDT World Tag Team Champions, The Shield, Roman Reigns, and Seth Rollins. I've never stated that it was Freebird, but uh, Seth Rollins will be battling Dean Ambrose for one half of this World Tag Team Championship at Sold Out. So we'll see if Dean Ambrose can get his hands on that championship. The loser of that match will, of course, be banished from the Shield forever. So uh, that'll be an interesting match for sure. I'm pretty sure that has a stipulation of no DQ or something like that. But they have been champion for 305 days. They did capture the championships at Blackout, MDT Blackout. So uh, they have had a pretty lengthy reign. They've done well. They uh, have defended it against the New Day, and they won that match as well on MDT Live Episode 4, I'm pretty sure. So the Shield have won. They've looked pretty good with the New Day. Both of their New Day matches were pretty fun to film. They were very entertaining. I enjoyed them. So the Shield do come in with their pink tag titles at 305 days. And then finally, guys, the longest reigning champions in MDT history right now is the Revival, if you can believe that. They haven't, I don't even think they've defended the championships quite yet. If they have, it hasn't been meaningful. But they have a reign of 414 days, the Revival. The MDT Tag Team Champions have been killing it. These are probably my least favorite tag titles or uh, titles on the brand. You know, they're not professionally made. I made these myself, so I need to update them. They will be coming soon, but uh, I'm pretty sure they have a Tornado Tag Team match with the Young Bucks at Sold Out, so we will see if the Young Bucks can get it done and bring home the tag titles and end the longest reign in the history of MDT. We will have to see, but the Revival have a huge long reign at 414 days. That is so crazy. 414 days it is, is the existence of MDT Wrestling because we did the draft 414 days ago, if you can believe that. So we have done, you know, our pay-per-views and freaking like 16 or so, 17 episodes of MDT Wrestling in that uh, span of 414 days, which doesn't seem like a lot, but uh, you guys see the work that goes into it. But I want to know your guys' thoughts down below, guys. What do you think? Who is the best champion in MDT? Is it John Cena? Is it The Revival? Is it the fighting champion Miz? Like, I need to know down below. I want to know your guys' opinions on it. Um, Kenny Omega, you know, he's also done well as champion. I mean, I just don't know what you guys think. I would love to know your thoughts on who the best champion is, but that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. I think it's pretty cool to see an in-depth look at the pick fed and you know the rosters and the champions and how long their reigns are i think that's really cool to do the analysis and everything of it but thank you guys so much for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe and wwe figure videos leave me a like follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you